Well, it all started when I was playing football. I was running downfield full speed on a kickoff when all of a sudden my knee buckled. It was a sharp pain and one of the worst ones I've ever experienced. I'm Patrick Mungi and I tore my meniscus. I had no idea what was happening. I couldn't move my knee. It was the most scared I've ever been. Well, to be honest, the rest of the day was a blur. I got helped up and the next day I went and got an MRI on my knee. That's when I found out I tore my meniscus. The most annoying part about the injury was I had to go to the doctors 20 different times. And then I had to go to school, stuck on crutches and I couldn't move my knee. It was a huge struggle to get from each class to class because the backpack weighed like 30 pounds and I had to carry it and I didn't want to annoy anyone for, to carry it for me. The doctors told me I had one of the worst types of tears on my meniscus and I had to have surgery and I had to get a third of it removed. It's been about a month since I got injured and now I can start walking in after two weeks of after the surgery. I've been stuck on the sidelines having to watch my team since the injury and it's been, it's been rough not being able to play and help the team. It's been the first couple of days of physical therapy. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but it was still hard work. But I have started to feel a little bit of improvement in my knee, and I'm hoping it gets a lot better real quick. Right now, my knee feels a lot better since the surgery, and I'm very optimistic I'll be 100% as soon as I can be. I still do feel pain after long days of school and all the walking, and sometimes I even have problems sleeping. Well, I'm a tough person, and I know I'm going to get through this.